A few weeks ago, I was at the Kylie Misiki fans here in Amsterdam, and I noticed a few trends in Afro House. In this video, we're gonna discuss everything on how to make Afro House in 2025. Let's straight dive into it. Let's start off with the drums. So, of course, we're gonna use the Angoma sample pack. It's still the best one out there for Afro House. Let's open it up. Go to the samples, kicks. And our, let's start off with this one. It's a bit too heavy, so let's give it a side chain at the end to shorten it some more. Then, of course, we need to layer it with some percussion. So, first, go ahead with this tom. And make this basic Afro House rhythm. And layer it with some percussions. I really like this heavy one. It really adds some emphasis on, on the notes. So place that the first half beat. And then together with the last perk. Just like this. Also we need to get it some slightly off the grid. At the groove spots. So I gave it way more swing as you can hear. I think that Tom will sound better at this spot. Then just layer it with a higher percussion, like this. And layer it with a thumb loop. And cut it up like this. Turn it into a 4 bar loop. And layer it with some more percussion loops. This one will add some groove for sure. Some heads. And shakers. Yeah, that's solid. So then another thing I noticed was the sort of A and B part with the drums. So this is the A part and then the B part with some heads like this. So that's it for the drums. All together they sound like this. So now we're gonna continue with the cover vocal. For the cover vocal, we're gonna use a vocal from Cover Me. It's a new platform focused on cover vocals where you can buy them non exclusively at a really high quality. So, for a fraction of the price of hiring a vocalist, you can just use these pre made non exclusive cover vocals. So, let's pick one from Cover Me and go for this Trick Me vocal. Just drop in the full vocal, fit it to that tempo. Sounding like this. So to get a bit more creative with a with a cover remix, Those days are old and over I cut out these two parts. There's nothing left there to followed by this one. Said you might trick but of me course once. the chorus. I won't let you trick me twice. So that will be the part we'll be using. Now we're quickly gonna mix it some more, so compress it. Those days are old and overdone. Some more high end with a fresh air. Delay. There's nothing left there to decide. And drown it in reverb. Said you might trick me once. And then I wanna continue with that typical Afro House piano. Let's use this left piano and build a chords around the vocal. Starting on a wood note. Turn into a full chord. Those days are old and Give it some thickness with the lower one. Those days are old and over. Down to the seventh Those chord. Those days are old and over Those days are old and over And I think we need to go up right here. So go all the way up to the third note of the scale. And again, build up the chords. And it, then we're gonna go up to the fourth note of the scale. And it's only with the F sharp. And it's only but I wanna get this one an octave lower. And, it's only and then go down right here. Just like this. And finish it like this. There's nothing left. 
So this will be the chorus of the track. Took quite a while to get it right, but I really like it. So let's just copy them over into a bass sound. Go to the Nkoma pack and pick a Reese bass. Let's go for this one. And you're spaced in the MIDI. Something like this. Add some distortion. Compress it. Big side chain. So all together it sounds like this. We got a really dope foundation, but now we need to spice it up some more. So first let's work on this Emma Piano fill. I got this lock drum loaded up. So now we need to make the fill. So let's follow the chord progression. Like this. But I want to make it more suited for Emma Piano. So really common is to have a sort of raffle of fast notes like this. Yeah, that's solid. That's it. Let's see how it sounds in the track. So place it in instead of the Reese bass. Yeah, that's solid. I really like it. So that's one key element to spice it up some more and make your effort track stand out a little bit more. Then we're gonna dive in the plug, so add in another preset from Angoma Pack. Let's go for this one and drop it in at a root note. Just like this. And add some groove by getting these notes slightly off the grid. Small sidechain to it, 80%. And just add in some modular animations to keep it interesting. So those are all the elements we'll be using in the track. Altogether what we made so far sounds like this. So I quickly work some more on the breakdown by adding in all the elements we made earlier. So the plug, drum fill, combined with some risers. I added in a stripped version of the drums together with a local animation and a drum fill like this. Combined with a snare build. Of course the vocal. You know, and that's already it for the breakdown. Just keep it really minimal and then just arrange the drop some more by duplicating and just adding some more percussion elements. So back to the Angoma pack. Just stop it with a head loop. And of course bring back in the piano together with the vocal for the second part. Like this. So that's how you make an Ever House track. I think the final result turned out really dope. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Besides that, hit that subscribe button. Check out Cover Me. And I'll see y'all in the next videos. Those days are over.